Well, here we are now with Brenda Bradshaw, and we're going to be talking about the letter K. Right. The letter K deals with your religion, and it, uh, we're not going to be dealing with particular religions this morning or particular philosophies, but what we are going to be showing are the different things that are showed in the handwriting that shows that a person is very spiritual. Mm -hmm. But you can tell. Yes, I can individually. Uh, of course, I don't not, uh, not only look at the letter K when, I, when I'm telling the particular religion, I have to look at all the different letters in the alphabet. Right. So that's why I'm mainly concerning which is the letter K. Last week and the uh, week prior to that, we were talking about our uh, lower zones, the mm -hmm. sexual zones. Uh, this week we're talking of our upper zones. And upper meaning spiritual, looking oh, up. So you see, it's very easy to understand. Yes. I have brought a little chart here of the uh, different zones. If we could go to the bottom chart, we'll show the middle zones and the upper zones. Okay. See this letter K. Now this is a lock of K. And you notice it has on the side, this is the upper and the middle and the lower zones. Now the upper zones are your spiritual. The uh, middle zone is your materialistic zone. And the end the bottom one is your sexual zones. So the K is only in those two zones. Right. You see? Uh-huh. Now, I have a chart here also that I have made uh, showing uh, the different parts of the... Uh, you can go to that chart and I can explain the chart as we go to it. Okay. It's a chart showing all the different things that occur in handwriting. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we worked on our lower zones, we worked on our... Uh, uh, last week with sexuality, and now we're working on our upper zones. The, the next week we will be covering all three zones combined. The letter L is your physical. This is a chart. I don't know if you can get any closer in on it. It's very small. But this is a chart showing the different zones. And the very top of the peak of the, uh, the uh, triangle is your uh, spiritual zones. And, of course, it's going to be illustrated in my book because I am writing a book about handwriting analysis. Mm -hmm. I have brought different K's with me. And the first example of the K, I have, uh, uh, since, you know, you are new with me today, what, we're doing, what we do is we talk about the slant, the shape, the openness of a letter, and the pressure in the letter. These right. are like our steps that we go through each week. And then we have the parts of the letter. Oh, she's got a close-up on it here. Now, you see the middle here is a physical right. involvement. <laughs> now, a slant to the left is your introvert, but it also shows past. Uh -huh. A person that slants to the introvert will hold on to the past. Now, in reverse there, see the extrovert tendencies go towards the future. So if you're, all of your writing goes and leans forward, then you're pushing towards the future, right. future events. Uh -huh. The present would be straight up and down. You see? And right. what is that? Would that mean you're stable? Or? You're stable. That's correct. You, you, you're right. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's surprising. <laughs> oh, it is surprising. It was something there. Sexuality, involvement, of course, is your angles at the bottom, which uh -huh. we have discussed. And way up at the tip top is our spiritual involvement at the very top of the page. Now, I have brought example one here, and the, the parts of the letter K are the stem and the bubble. Interesting name. My husband says you can name it anything you want. I've named it the bubble. Okay. Now, the stem shows practice in religion. If they have a very good stem, the part that goes up, here's the stem. See this here? Uh -huh. This is a person who practices what they believe in. Because yeah. of the height in it? That's correct. Uh -huh. The height is very important okay. for spiritual belief because you're reaching as high as you can go. Right. Notice here that this person has a belief in a philosophy because the bubble is closed mm -hmm. at the bottom. That's example one. The second example is a person. Can we get a second example? Uh -huh. I right, see the big bubble oh, and yeah. you see the huge stem. Notice it has a big loop in it. Right. Now loops denote sensitivity. This person is so sensitive towards religion that they actually live the religion and they're very sensitive about the religion and they believe so much. Now, we're not talking about a particular religion. We could be talking about a philosophy. Right. A person who is very strong. Their ideals. Sure, mm -hmm. definitely. In their ideals, their moral beliefs, and they right. carry this through constantly. Next week, we'll be working with the letter L. Now, the letter L takes the upper zones and the lower middle zones, but it doesn't take any sexual zones. 
But the letter L can tell you the type of hairstyle, the type of person, if they have back troubles, if they have stomach troubles, if they have leg troubles, and feet troubles. Covers the whole physical. So that's amazing. Should be, should be very interesting next week. All right. So in every single letter, mm -hmm. you have your spiritual on top, right. and then you have your physical or materialistic material, so. and then you have your sexual. Right. The and so every single letter you can tell right what a exactly. person. Right. If you see a person with a lot of lower zones, uh, the uh, sexual zones, you'll know this person is all they're thinking about is sexuality. And if you see a person in the spiritual. They've got spiritual, lot of high, lot of, lot of high. They're a very spiritual person. Well, that's terrific. And now I've learned a lot today, and Jim is getting to learn all about ice cream. So take it away, Jim. That's right, Tracy. I have my scoop right here, and when we come back on Good Morning Virginia.